we are back. Hello, everybody. I am going to be swatching some of my, well, I'll get through as many as I can, but some of my Terra Moon shadows, I've got like, this is just a portion. I've got five, well, I'll just pull them out so you guys can see it, or you may be able to see the thumbnail that shows it, but I have got five containers of Terra Moons. They are certainly one of my favorite brands when it comes to shifty eyeshadows. I have not picked up anything new recently, even though I have been dying to. It's killing me. I'm on like pretty much a no buy at this point. Not because I want to be, but because it is what it is. Um, so I am just going to be sharing some of these with you. I don't know how many I will get through. If there are other brands you want to see in the future, let me know in the comments below. Uh, let me think here. Updates. My grandpa is out of the hospital now, um, but he is still, he's still having a hard time. He, um, has C. diff and he was, he had sepsis. Uh, so I've said, uh, like 20 times, please ignore that. It's just been really rough recently. And then my health, I get to go see a specialist. Well, I get to go see my rheumatologist here in May which has been rescheduled a few times. So I'm curious to see what's going on with that. I know that I'm in a flare up. My other labs have shown that like my, um, uh, if you follow any kind of health stuff, my TPO antibodies are like off the charts. They're like insanity. So <clears throat> there's been a lot going on between stress and my health. And I just want to make you guys aware. I'm not, I don't know if I'll ever get back to doing the type of videos I did before, but I've just got to listen to my body and do what I can when I can but I am always happy to be here with you guys and I miss everybody and I have loved seeing comments and talking with you and to everybody that gave me some love on my anniversary. Um, thank you so much. We, I am so blessed to have my husband. He is a good man. He has been with me through thick and thin pretty much from the time we got married, I got sick. And so, you know, to spend nine years of our marriage with me sick and him stand by my side is a huge thing and not just stand by it but make bring joy into my life is crazy sorry i'm a little emotional today but if you wanted to watch these swatches you had to see that first <laughs> okay let's hop right in i'm gonna start with these now i'm ca i called them the blues but so many of these shadows have huge shifts to them and i tried <laughs> i tried to do like a blue green and a and a purple blue uh, you know what guys i at this point they're just separated kind of out bear with me let's roll through this we're gonna start right here and i'm gonna pick this up this is called phoenix and i have the shades written down ahead of time i know i was prepared now, I will say I actually lotioned my arm not long, well, not one, but both of my arms and my elbows and my upper arms recently. So I will say that normally I do not, but my skin is so dry I couldn't take it anymore. So I'm sorry. Um, once I wash my arm off the first time, you guys, there's no, they, I mean, it'll be gone. So I can't wait to touch this actually. Let's see here. It is kind of flaky. Okay, be careful when picking this up. It's gonna be great, but it's very, very flaky. Okay, I've got one, two, three, four, ten. No, I've got nine shadows. Ignore this little cluster right here. That's some of my uh, Tammy Tanukas that I need to move, but I haven't had a chance. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of dispersing the flakes. There is still kind of a base to it, not like base color, but like it's not like they're falling off that whoo oh my lord i hope you guys are seeing that as plainly as i am it is gorgeous i do have a little light around here somewhere oh no i charge it i will get it before we're done and i will show you what these look like under a light as well but for now we're just rolling the next one i've got is called star sign let's make sure i'm not completely wrong yeah star sign whoo it kind of looks like a blue shifting purple shadow. I have a lot of those. Let's just talk about it now. I didn't realize I was so much into that as I actually am apparently. That's what it looks like on my finger. And if you hear something in the background, that is Jersey Shore, as always. I'm one of those people that play stuff on repeat. Just makes me feel more at home. Usually it's the movie Twister, but we're on a Jersey Shore kick right now. I wish I could see what you guys are seeing. Hopefully you guys are catching some of those flips. Very pretty shade. I don't know, well, it's kind of pretty, shoot. I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna keep that one. I was thinking about, you know, trying to declutter this collection to some degree, but now I'm like, that was a lie. <laughs> 
but maybe I will, who knows. The next shadow is called Kiss of a Mermaid. It's actually The Kiss of a Mermaid, but it's a long, long title. Kind of a blue shifting gold that comes across green. A blue shifting old gold even, I would say. Oh gosh, and I'm like, yeah, I'm totally gonna get rid of something. And then I touch it and I'm like, that was a lie. I, I know, I may not get rid of anything. I mean, the truth is the money's already gone. And yes, I can sell them, but they're already here. No, I should, I should try and get rid of some. That is so pretty. It's even more impactful than you guys are probably seeing right now. When I get the, like the light, it'll help, I think. The next one is called Moon Mosaic. And this is actually kind of a turquoise, blue, purple. I don't know what all you guys are catching in these shifts right now. And if I sound stuffed up, it's just because I think my allergies are killing me. Oh, hopefully you guys are seeing how beautiful that is on my finger. Leo has joined the fray. Hi, we. Hey, buddy. I don't know if you can hear him sniffing. It's the cutest thing ever. He goes. <laughs> Leo. That is so much prettier than you guys are probably seeing right now. It is incredibly shifty. It is very smooth. It's not necessarily creamy, but it's 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 definitely got a creamy element to it. Very, very pretty. This one, I believe, is Neptune's Diamonds. Also kind of a turquoise to blue, maybe with a hint of purple. So I love that I titled these blue. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, that is, oh my gosh, it's even better than I thought it was gonna be. Okay. I love how some of the ones when I was putting them in here, I'm like, maybe this will be one I get rid of. And, and now I've determined that everything I thought before was a lie. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Oh, holy crap. That was so much more than I thought it was going to be. There is like a lot of glitter particles in it. Not that you feel it, like the texture is very smooth. I hope that you guys are seeing this as nice as it is. I don't feel like you are. Well, I will be getting a light very soon. The next one's called Purple Clouds, so ask me why I considered that blue. I, I, I'm an idiot. Um, it does look blue in some light. Blue shifting purple, which could have gone in my blue shifting purple section, but that's fine, I digress. Truthfully, I will, I don't know, this is pretty nice too. I probably will declutter this one. I don't know though, I may be full of crap. <laughs> but it is also very pretty. The next shadow is called Prison Skies. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys are gonna see a theme of colors that I really enjoy, I'm feeling. I'm sensing. Oh my gosh. They're all like stunning. Almost has like a purple base and a green blue shift, but I feel like there's even more than that going on that I'm maybe not picking up in this light. Maybe a pink, maybe a little bit of pink champagne. Please excuse the coloring on the top of my nails. It's from the shadow. Y'all, that is like, oh my gosh. I don't know what you guys are seeing and I feel like it's not the right thing, but I'm never getting rid of that. Oh, I can't wait to get the light out for you. Uh, the next one is called Multiverse and I'm very curious to see what this texture is gonna be like. It looks like a blue shifting purple. It's very flaky. Yeah, very flaky, full of glitter particles. This texture reminds me a lot of um, Pretties for Your Face and Pat McGrath Special Shades. Kind of that flaky crumbly, but very, very impactful. I would definitely suggest an eyeshadow base with this. Mm, I made a little mess. 
let's just ignore that. But very pretty. I've said very, very, very a very large amount of times. Just ignore it, okay? The next one is called Milky Way. <sighs> kind of a purple, blue, maybe some green. I, all of these are kind of in the same family and yet still very unique. Also crumbly, has kind of a champagne turn to it. Reminds me of like the best of the best confetti glitter. The texture is very much like that. You would definitely want an eyeshadow base with this, in my opinion. If you have oily lids, you may be able to get away without it, but I think if you want no fallout and the best placement, that's what I would do. And as far as my lighting situation, it is as always normal, no colored lights, no mirrors. Um, I will get out a brighter light so you guys can see some difference. Oh God, it's glorious. I'm lifting my arm, I'm probably making it worse. Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, you guys may hear my washer in the background. Um, Y'all, I just walked around my living room to go get this light, which I'm showing on this. And the shifts in this are so much more intense than you guys are even seeing. There's a lot more going on than just this. Um, I will try to switch to a warm color suit, like uh, situation and see if it changes anything again. I can't see what it looks like for you guys, but I hope you guys are seeing some of the shifts because there is so much more than meets the eye. Holy crap. I don't know that I will be getting rid of any of these to be completely frank with you. Um, I'm going to grab some pictures of these and I will be right back. Okay. Wow. That took me so long because I was completely enamored. <laughs> I'm telling you what, what you guys saw here, there's no way it remotely compares to the pictures and no, no way that that even remotely compares to what it looked like in real life in different light. Like, oh, holy crap, my heart be still my beating heart. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so we're gonna go, let's go into the gold gray area. This first shadow, oh, I will hopefully not break. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. Is called Celine. Yes. Very excited to see what this will look like. Looks like a uh, white based gold, but you never know what you're gonna get. It's in that flakier texture. Definitely pretty. Yeah, that's really, really nice. Um, I don't know that I need it because I feel like I have a bunch of it, but maybe I'll keep this over those. It's hard to say. There's some formulas that I like, uh, you know, as well, if not a little better, because personally I have, I like the emollient base shadows a little bit more, um, but that's just the application for me. However, these will probably last longer because they are a little bit drier and you could just spray a little bit of alcohol, keep them, you know, for 20 years. I know that sounds ridiculous, but I would totally do it. Um, this one is called Light Speed, and it's a yellow that shifts kind of a blue, maybe even a little bit of pink as well. Also that flaky kind of formula. This These kind of remind me of Davina as well. So pretty for your face, Davina. Um, right in that family of texture, if you've tried either of those, where it's kind of crumbly, kind of flaky, but very impactful. But I will say, Pretties for Your Face, for instance, I did used to be affiliated with them. I'm not affiliated with any brands at this point. Um, I just feel like affiliations leave room for people to not believe what you're saying. And I, um, you know, I always, <laughs> I am always honest with you, sometimes to a fault. Um, but those praise for your face ones are way cheaper so this definitely you can, I, well, I can see the pink shift in this yellow more than the blue right now I don't know what you guys are seeing on camera maybe neither of those but hopefully the pictures will be able to pick that up if this looks like this might go a little hair blue as well greenish blue uh, next we've got and I'm never gonna pronounce it right so just you know judge me silently if you would Casium or Sasium or Sessium, I don't know. Casium. That's what I'm gonna call it. And hopefully not break it while I'm showing you it. It looks like a very silvery gold. 
Ooh, this may be like, okay, why did I need to yell? Calm down, it's all right. Um, this already reminds me a lot of the Davina Metallics. Like those are so good. Like probably some of the best that I own. Um, now trying this, this is on par with those for sure. Oh my gosh. And I don't think I had one that was the same color as this. Like that's what's on my finger. Very, very pretty. That is what's on my arm. <laughs> wow, that's gorgeous. Holy crap. I love swatching stuff. <laughs> the next shadow is called Martian. I cannot pick these up today. Don't, it's just, don't be hateful. Kind of a greenish, goldish, maybe a little bit of red base to it. Mm, kind of looks really bronzy in this light. Well, kind of, I don't even know. Yeah, coppery. But I feel like there's some shift to it. Even though I don't feel like I am picking it up well. Maybe I need more lighting over here. I feel like I see the red base with this pretty well. Hopefully you guys are as well. This next one is called Atomic Division and it looks so spectacular. I kept getting all kinds of different tones in it. Kind of champagne and red and purple and green and I, it looks phenomenal. I cannot wait to try it. This is that more creamy, smooth kind of formula. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is phenomenally beautiful. It's definitely coming through very green to blue for me right now with a hint of gold. I don't know what all you guys are able to see on my finger. Oh my gosh. It looks totally different on camera, I feel. <laughs> That is one of a kind. The next one is called Meteorite. Let's see if I can not pick up. Ah! Gentle. What the heck? I cannot use these. Yeah, Meteorite. And it, to me, is like a pink undertoned, well, very pale gold. It is flakier, but I wouldn't say it's as flaky as some of the other ones I've used. Okay. Hopefully it's coming through. It is very sparkly, but it's not looking like it, I think, on the camera. But it really is. Okay. Next one is called Rubidium. <sighs> Hateful. Yeah, rubidium. And I might be pronouncing that incorrectly because that's, hey, that's how I roll. <sighs> These ones, I just like the texture much more. They feel creamier. They feel more like this one does. I, mu I much prefer that. And I love a true metallic. Like, this is shining to the, to the skies, to the stars metallic. picked up way too much. I did not need that much. Ooh, go back in. I'm sorry. I take it back. This is like way too intense. <laughs> That's what's on my finger. I don't even think you guys can tell just how blingin' metallic it really is, but it is. I, sh I swear. <sighs> I'm actually very sad. I just wasted that much. <laughs> the next one is called Moon Kissed. I don't know why I had to say it like that. Moon Kissed? very interested to see if it's just like a true silver oh oh my also extremely creamy very metallic i didn't need this much I'm trying i tried to learn from my first mistakes uh but you know apparently i did not wow that is stunning Stunning. Woo! I love it. 
Uh, let's see here. The next one is called Carbon. Kind of a maybe black or charcoal based silver. That's what it looks like, but I may eat it. Now, this is that flaky texture again. I thought it was going to be super, super metallic, and it is, but I it won't, it doesn't have that creamy base. I think this over that would probably be phenomenal. Phenomenal. Everything's phenomenal today. Please ignore me. This almost seems like it kind of has a little bit of brown to the base of it a little bit. Little, little, little. I'm repetitive. I'm sorry, everybody. This is extremely hard to pick up. I'm going to be totally frank with you. It is falling apart. Definitely use an eyeshadow base with that shadow if you pick it up. That's what the leftover looks like on my finger, making my nails look really dirty. Okay, the last one is called Dark Side. This again kind of reminds me like that, but even deeper based. I'm guessing it will probably be that flaky texture. Yeah. Maybe, no, okay, maybe not. I'm eating my words. See, that's what happens when you assume you, you make an ass out of yourself. It's definitely flaky. It's not as creamy as the other metallics that are right before those, but it's not as flaky as that. And maybe that's just, you know, um, a formula thing from shadow to shadow. It may just vary a little bit depending on how it's mixed. That's what it looks like on my finger. That's what it looks like on my arm. Let's get the light in here. Okay, I can't see how shiny it's looking for you, but let me assure you that it is super sparkly. And this does go, ve so the very first shade, Celine, goes green, blue, and pink, and a little bit purple. I love shadows like that. They have one, I think it's called Sublunar, which eventually I'll swatch, um, that is <sighs> one of the most mind-blowing shadows that I've ever, ever touched. And um, it's like that where it just gives you little surprises. Let me try and switch up the coloring. Here's warm. Hopefully you can see the pink in that second shadow. But there is still like a blue flip to it. Yeah, really, really pretty. I'm going to grab some swatches, like some pictures of the swatches, and I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> Those were seriously beautiful as well. I am going to jump into the green section, which you'll think looks specific suspiciously lacking, but that's because I counted the greens in like every other category that I set to the side over there. So <laughs> it's not really that sparse, let's be real. Okay, the first shadow down here, this is an issue here, is called Light Year. <laughs> and it kind of has a green flip to it, maybe even a little bit of pink, who knows? We're gonna see all kinds of stuff, I can sense it. And this is the drier formula, but not so flaky. This is their smooth dry formula, which I definitely prefer to some of the others. Okay. Yeah, on my finger, I'm getting some pink some gold, some green, even a little bit of blue with this. It is super pretty. You guys are probably mostly seeing, well, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, maybe the gold to green. The next one is called Phases. I don't know why I had to say it like that. Next one. <laughs> and it's a very pretty green to gold. Oh, good. It's the smoother texture. Very pretty. Very pretty. Ooh, very, very pretty. <sighs> I really like that. Shocker. Are we really surprised? Probably not. The next one is called Critical Mass. Oh, I picked it up okay. I don't know if I'm hanging on to it the best. I feel like it's got something more than green to gold. It almost looks like the hint of orange, possibly. This is still kind of creamy. It really does, in a lime way, remind me of Mural from Cleona. Let 
Sorry, I swatched a little sloppy there, shocker. Gorgeous. I feel like the orange piece to it is very subtle, but I feel like it's there. Like just on the cusp. Maybe you guys are seeing it better. <laughs> That's beautiful. I wonder if you guys are seeing any of the green. <laughs> okay, the next one is called Galactic Mint. Oh lordy. Oh Lord, I'm making messes. It's okay, all is well. It's not their thinnest formula. It's not their chunkiest. It's kind of in between. Still kind of a green that shifts gold, but a totally deeper base. Okay. The next one is called Moon Mosaic. Oh lordy, calm down. No, it's not, it's a lie. I looked at the wrong section, sorry. <laughs> the next one is called Quasar. That looks, I can't wait to, I cannot wait to try this. Reminds me of the one that was right there. Oh, I love it. I do though, for reals, that's not, that's not a lie. Oh my gosh. So much more interesting than I thought it was going to be. It's a green that has pink and gold and champagne. <sighs> very, very pretty. I love it. There's a lot going on there. And I don't even know if you guys are seeing it. Check for the pictures after I post. Um, next one is called, <sighs> I thought it said hot speed, hot spice cider. Sorry, you may have noticed a little pause there. I thought my sugar was going low, but it is okay. So we'll take that. This is a green, red, gold. I have long loved this shadow. You guys may just be seeing the red to gold, but it is very green as well. Let's put my finger in one of them. That is so pretty, so pretty. The next one is called Dirty Martini. Okay. Sorry, I don't know what's up with this thing talking today. Let's just ignore it and move forward, shall we? That is gorgeous. It almost, okay, I don't know if it's supposed to have a flip, but it almost has a bit of an orangey, goldish brown. I don't know if you guys are catching that in this, but I swear I'm kind of getting it. Or it could just be imagining stuff. Not that surprising. This one is called Beyond Apollo. Pretty holy crap. Texture smooth, but on the dry side, smooth dry. Still very easy to use and spread. Picked up more than I've needed. Definitely like a blue shifting green, really pretty shadow. Let's pull out the light. I'm gonna close this so I don't accidentally break something. Okay. So this is with normal colored lighting. I don't know actually what I'm showing you guys. Hopefully you guys are seeing some of these. Let's try a yellowish light. Well, not yellow, it's warm. See, not yellow. Warm, yeah, warm lighting. 
and make sure you guys check out the photos after this. They will be coming. Um, I think I'm probably going to go ahead and stop here for the day. I still have three more containers to get through and they are just chock full. Maybe I'll give you a little preview of what is to come. Let's see here. I wish I was feeling better because I would try and get through this one as well, but this will have to wait. Oh, it's so pretty. And then I have these two big ones, which are just glorious. I mean, honestly, the shiftiness of these is, is, is incredible. And then one more big, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry for what I've done. It's probably very crooked. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, there's one more big one. I'm hitting everything. And as you can tell, they each have color themes. So I cannot wait to share these with you very soon. Um, I hope that everybody is staying safe and healthy and having a great day. And I will see you guys in the next.